Welcome to Bioinformatics with Baby channel. My name is Baba Chan Parangada Pali. I'm an associate professor in Bioinformatics. Today's session, we are going to learn about some advanced features in PyMod. It's like we are going to look at how we can find the ligand and the protein interaction site. And also we are going to check how to install different type of plugins uh, like uh, Autodog, Romax, ActuSite plugins like this in a PyMod. And also we are going to see some unbasic annotations like uh, root mode squad deviation and also we are going to check the active sites salt bridges and so many things we are going to discuss in the today's session so here this is our uh, uh, facebook group page if you have any doubts or any clarification during installation or any any troubleshoot issues in bioinformatics you can post your comments here in our facebook group page and also we have our instagram page also where we are posting free softwares whatever the different available free software to do the various kinds of biological annotations so before to start up the topic i just want to remind you this is advanced session if you want to know uh, how to install the pymol or how to use the basic functions in a pymol you better to watch my previous video so where i showed the some basic information how to use a specific function or basic function in a pi mode okay so let us start with the, some advanced features go to file here so here i previously i made a some i performed some docking interactions so here so there is three different type of interaction i did what this one is for the protein protein interaction one is protein ligand and also another one is uh, the calcium ion the metal ion interactions okay so first of all i'm going to work with this uh, protein ligand molecule so here you can see here this uh, docking complex of protein and ligand molecule okay so here you have to first if you want to check the what is the interaction of this ligand uh, first you have to select this one sequence okay if you click this yes yes means sequence it will display your sequence and singulator code along with the along with that at, at the end of this sequence you will find the ligand molecule or uh, the drug compound okay if you select this one automatically it will one menu menu will pop out for you you have to label them or you have to clearly rename this this selection into a separate tab okay so click on this action so if you click this action it will show you rename selection we will type this in as a drug type a drug click on enter now it's time to find out what are the uh, ligand so what are the amino acids that are interacting with this uh, with this ligand molecule okay so for doing this one simply you can do the two different approaches first of all we need to find out what are the amino acids are there which has been uh, which has been forming a hydrogen bond interaction ionic bond interaction one thing you have to remember so there are various kinds of interactions are there in a pi mole uh, you are able to find out only hydrogen bond interactions in between the amino acids and uh, the ligand molecule but you have to remember that even some of the interaction like uh, ionic interactions are there van der waals interactions are there those interaction you cannot find in uh, in the pi mole but based upon the nearest amino acid we can judge various type of interactions in between the ligand and protein molecule so for this one you have to first initially you have to select your drug molecule after this you have to give a, a small command so you can start to write a command here like show sticks by residue of a protein with in phi angstrom okay so why i'm going phi angstrom mean so you all know what is the distance of the maximum distance of hydrogen bond is 2.5 angstrom we can go up to the 5 angstrom for the ionic interaction or van der waals van der waals that's why we call it as a weak interactions so 5 angstrom of so here we give the name for this ligand molecule as a drug okay so drug so if you hit on enter it will show you what are the different type of amino acids which is having a phi angstrom distance away from the ligand molecule okay so here you can see here which is phi angstrom away from this uh, 
ligand molecules so we can give a different colors to it so actually this uh, this amino acids have the stick conformation is merged in a, in a protein molecule that's why you cannot differentiate in between this uh, uh, ligand and the protein molecules you can give different uh, different structure to this one for the ligand molecule also so here go to action preset and ball and stick okay so you can see here now we clearly differentiated here this protein and ligand molecule okay so we can give a different colors also for this one so here i'm going to get different colors to this uh, chain a secondary structure so here i'm going to give uh, by atom okay so by atom i'll give the structures to this one okay so here i selected this ligand molecule and also uh, the five angstrom the five angstrom distance amino acid from the drug molecule okay so here if you want to view only this amino acid you have to separately you have to select them like this okay so here sorry so you have to select them so like this Okay, so here rename this one. Rename it's a phi angstrom site. Otherwise, active site. Active site. Okay, so here we gave name this one as a active site. And if you want now, we can hide this uh, cartoon. If you want to view this uh, this clearly, you can hide this cartoon. Okay, you can see here you it's showing only a, a sticks for you. Okay, so if you can increase the size of the uh, sticks also, if you want to increase the size of the sticks, we have an easy option is available. Simply you have to type set stick underscore radius is equal to 0 0.25. Okay, so you can increase this one. So we'll name it as a one. You can see here the radius of the sticks has been decreasing okay so the radius of sticks has been decreasing so like this you can change if you want to want to increase the size of the radius look okay, you can type uh, uh, the one where you can show you the radius of the size uh, size of the stick has been increased okay it looks very odd so let me type here 0 0.1 this looks very good for me okay so here this is now good so we'll give different colors to this one also by by element okay so now let us find what are the uh, interactions are there in between this ligand and amino acids okay so here you have to select your ligand molecule so select this drug molecule here go to action find polar context to any art okay so if you click hit on the click item you can see here sorry the hydrogen moiety of uh, so you can see the clear hydrogen bond interaction these are the hydrogen bond interaction in between this uh, protein and ligand molecule if you want to know what is the distance in between this uh, what is the distance in between this ligand molecule and also amino acid so you can find here the one more plugin option is available so here go to wizard click on measurement okay create new new object so here click this molecule and this one you can see here the distance in between this one it's 3.5 angstrom it's not going to form a strong heterogeneous bond interaction but it's a it's a good one okay so let us see what is the distance from here to here it's a 2.9 it's uh, comparatively the best one okay so let us see what is the distance from here to here it's 3.2 it's 2.8 here from here to here and from this to uh, this semi ring 
it's 3.5 angstrom you can see here like this we can easily identify what is the distance in between this uh, uh, ligand molecules and uh, in between the drug molecules and the protein molecules this is how we can easily find out or uh, easily identify the active sites in a protein so if you want to give a clear visualization to this one again you can clear this one as a carton form okay so here you can see here it's in carton form and it look looks very good it will definitely go for the publication if you are want to use this uh, structure for the publication simply you have to click the ray so here ray save image where it will save this image in the png format file okay so here like this we can easily find out what is the interaction in between the lichen and protein molecules uh, what type of interactions are there and also we can easily find out what are the amino acids are surrounded in uh, are surrounded around the ligand molecule okay. so next thing we are going to work with this calcium pro uh, this is calcium protein calmodulin so here the docking complex of calmodulin ions and also the protein okay I just want to look onto the same way what how I did with the ligand molecule so i'm going to show you the same thing similar thing for you with the uh, calcium ions okay so here i'm going to set the calcium ion initially so here the four calcium cylinder so nearly five calcium so i'm here so rename the selection and type as the ions okay so here i'm rename this one right so for calcium Okay, so you have to you have to give the whatever the names you have, whatever the names you are given, you have to give the same thing like this. Okay, so calcium. So here you have to type your protein protein name, calcium. Okay, so it okay. So what are the names are they? Whatever the names here we have you have given, you have to give the same name here, okay? And also oh, the ions, ion ligand molecule. You can see that within a five angstrom, we have find out uh, it's uh, this uh, this amino acids are localized around this uh, around this calcium atoms. Okay, so you can find out the same things. So okay, here, click and find find polar contrast to any atom so you can find out this uh, polar contacts you can see here the polar contacts are there uh, around this salmon acid not here okay but you can find as i told you here you can find the ionic interactions so ionic interactions in between this uh, uh, surrounding the acid okay so to check this one whether the whether the distance whether the ionic interactions are possible or not you have to simply the same thing what you need to do is you need to measure you need to measure the distance okay so for example from here to here so there is a 4.7 angstrom is there is uh, it's possible to form the ionic interactions and also for example from here to here it's a 5.3 angstrom is there but it's i think it's very difficult to form the ionic interaction from here to here it's highly impossible to form the ionic interaction okay so done if you want to clear this one we can remove this one did it did it yeah did it. okay so you can see here and also the size of this radius uh, the state size of this uh, radius uh, sphere sorry the size of this uh, calcium sphere is very big okay so that's why we need to reduce the size of this one so here to reduce the size of uh, this sphere you have to type a command so here type you have to type set sphere underscore scale 0 0.25 okay all all the spheres need to reduce you can see here the size of this uh, sphere has been decreased if you want to increase slightly a little bit better compared to this one let us see with 0.5 okay so much better you can see here uh, how how nicely the calcium has been uh, surrounded by the amino acid okay you can see here like this we can find out uh, the interactions uh, interaction between the ligand molecules and also the ion molecules very easily 
okay so let us see one more one more thing uh, the protein protein interaction how we can perform with the protein protein interaction so same way you have to do so here okay so here these are three complex protein it's a pcsk9 bind with the ldl receptor so here uh, the three different chains are there the a and b chains are belongs to the pcsk9 and uh, chain c is belongs to uh, ldl receptor okay so first of all you have to select one specific chain okay so let me select uh, let me select the ldl receptor one so here the chain c so you can say c g chain c yeah here chain c okay so i'm going to table label that my assay rename assay rename ldlr okay so this is ldlr protein so now let us find out uh, what are the type of interactions or what are the surrounding amino acid which has been interacting with this one okay so let us select this one so now you have to type the same command so here instead of uh, show stick virus by residue here you have to type that protein same thing protein with within the five extreme of uh, ld l r okay hit enter so you can see here now there are so many amino acids which has been surrounded okay so here i am going to hide this one and to hide this uh, hide sticks okay so click on hide stick here but i just want uh, sticks of uh, the pcsk9 okay so let us change these colors so here by chain okay so here the by chain okay you can see here so the amino acid which has been five angstrom five angstrom distance away from this ldr reaction okay so here select this one select this amino acids okay so here selection you can write down rename this one as a active site active site Okay, so here I found I named this one as active site. So now select this uh, LDLR protein, and here find polar context. In polar context, any other atom in object. Okay, two other atoms in object. So you can see here there are uh, only few, very few interactions are there in the, uh, in the with this protein. If you want to see the interaction interacting amino acids here, simply you have to type here uh, selection of LDLR, show lines, show lines here, line. Okay, so here once you click the line, so it will display the lines format for you. You can hide this cartoon, uh, hide cartoon. So where resolution is very clear for you, you can see here this amino acid is interacting with this one. Okay, so now hide the cartoon, hide the lines, again show the sticks. This is uh, renamed again with LDLRs interacting sites. Interacting sites. Okay. Show sticks. 
this is how we can use this pi mole to identify the protein protein ligand protein protein ligand interaction protein protein interaction and also protein ions or metal ions interactions okay so always in publication mode you it is better to have a display in a background in as a white background better to use this one and you can change the uh, color of this uh, uh, hydrogen bond interaction okay so you can check you can change this one as a black whatever color you want you can change in a different colors whatever you can change in a different colors for this uh, interactions okay so here this is how we can use this option next we will see about how we can install uh, how we can install the plugins in pi as i discussed with you previously there are so many plugins are available for the pi mole abbs to check the electrostatic potential of your protein and also other plugins are available to check the active site cast is available even the gromax plugins also available in pi mole so some of the very important one i collected i i, I just want to show you how we can install them okay so let us see so simply you have to go to plugin click on the plugin manager okay so click on install plugin you will find a different type of uh, uh, different type of plugins here here itself okay to identify the rmsd to check the alignment so simply so i just want to give one file so align file click on align file click on install here okay so if you done this one it will show you a installation is done you can check here uh, there is alignment plugin has been installed okay simply again if you want to if you want to install from external also it's available option some of the plugins you don't find here uh, so we have to install from external here so there are some plugins like autodoc plugin is available I just want to install the autodoc plugin okay so it's installed so i'm going to install one more few more plugins like uh, here cast p okay so second structure analysis or the second structure analysis dsp and if you want to optimize your protein or if you want to energy minimize your protein so there is optimized plugin also available okay so here optimization also available here okay so we can see here uh, the various plugins are there uh, legacy plugins you can see here autodoc vena cast p okay so so many to check the second structure of this protein we we'll get this one so i will show you one of the few 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 for the demonstration purpose so let us see this one okay click on open i'm going to use this protein protein so here go to plugin so here click on ap ps electrostatic potential Okay, so need not to change anything. Click on run. So depending upon your system configuration, it will take it up some time for you. So it's completed ABBS. Now you can see this uh, your protein is completely. Uh, you can see the electrostatic potential of your protein. So here the positive charge amino acid, negative charge amino acid has been represented. Different distribution of uh, the charge in your protein. You can easily analyze by using this uh, electrostatic potential analysis. So most of the, this Dynamics Chromax uh, uh, plugin, they don't work in uh, Windows system. It will definitely work with the Linux one. Okay. So if you are properly installed Linux in a, if you are properly installed Chromax in Linux one, it's automatically work for you. And also here, if there is a you can find out the alignment also for example i'm going to give two structures here so here are two structures so i'm going to give two different structures here two same kind of structures i'm going to give Okay, so here I gave the two different structures, two different structure here. 
I just want to identify what is the RMSG values are there. What are the room to mint square deviation values are there? So simply you have to go to plugin and click on alignment. Okay, so what is the first alignment file is there? It's the first one when I align with the second one. So click on OK. It will show you a total total number of uh, uh, total number of six six thousand two hundred and uh, six hundred six thousand two hundred sixty five atoms are there. So it's showing the RMSD of uh, root mean square deviation of two point zero three five angstrom salt. So if you want to check the salt bridges in a protein, so click on this uh, click on this uh, show and click on disulfide bonds and sticks. Okay, so you can see here you will find different type of disulfide interaction. This is the one of the disulfide bond interaction. Okay. Okay, so you can see here now it's very clear for us. These are the disulfide bond interaction uh, in a protein molecule. Okay, so there are many there disulfide bonds are there in this uh, protein. I'm going to install a few more plugins to Pymol. Okay, so here I go to install Pymol. So let's install. So list of hydrogen bonds. Okay, so where you will find the total number of hydrogen bond this one. So here, how to find this one? So let's minimize this one. List underscore H bonds. So for example, if I want to find the total hydrogen bond for the calcium, sorry, for this protein, so just type uh, the selection molecule. Hit enter. Now you can see here, it will display a table for you totally how many number of hydrogen bonds has been formed you can copy this information or you can use this information wherever you want okay so this is how we can use this option so let's hide this hydrogen bond so let's install few more okay let's install this cubes okay for representation of a cubes also you can it's a very good uh, it looks like very good thing so here install so qubit install so whatever you want, for example, if I want to do a cube-like structure for the calcium one. Okay, so let's, uh, let's name this one. So here, selector. Ions. Okay, so next to Q, ions. So here, this cube ion should be hide spheres. Okay, so now you can see here uh, the cube structures has been uh, clearly. So if you want to give a cube structure for the whole protein, it's also very easy. So cube calcium. You can see here the total structure has been created as a cube. It's a different representation for you. So let's see one more so very important one i want to check so here you can install one more uh, one more tool scene undo okay so this is very good tool so if you want to uh, if you want to undo the anything it's very good tool for you for example i just created a, some stick here okay so so once i do this one again i had to go back here and uh, hide this molecule if i made some mistake here so if you install this one you can you can easily click on the control z it will undo that uh, mesh for you okay so thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to uh, bioinformatics with bb channel and don't forget to hit the, the bell icon thanks for watching